I don't know much, but I know how I love you. I do. I love you very much for watching the video. I love you very much for being a subscriber, liking this particular video and every other video that you watch on the channel. Leave me some comments. I'll respond. I swear to you, I will respond. I will respond. So I wanted to look at Google and the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is a popular options strategy. I just click clicked my way on the Google and then clicked on the first thing that I saw that looked interesting. Alpha or option alpha. And this is a very simple explanation of the wheel strategy. The wheel strategy is a popular option strategy investors can use to generate income selling options and potentially owning stocks. So if you want to go over to optionalpha.com and just read through the option strategy. It's going to be for us, it'll be a combination of selling cash secured put options and selling covered calls. And we're going to do both of those at the same time because we do have 300 shares of the Googler right now. One of 100 of, 100 of those shares, one option contract is already in play. So what I'd like to do right now before your very eyes, we'll do it live, is I want to sell a couple calls. I want to sell a couple call contracts, but let's review where we're at. So currently, I have an average cost of those 300 shares at $92.47. Wow, wow, wow. Why that's a bummer is currently the Googler is at $90.12. So on paper, we're in the red, but we're going to work our way into the green using the wheel of fortune. We're going to use that wheel strategy. And currently, we have some puts in action right here. Boots and cats and poots and cats. So we got some puts and calls going on. And then in this two option strategy is where our one of our call options is already taken. So we can't use it. We have 300 shares, but we're only going to be able to put up 200 today, which represents two options contracts. My plan is to sell a call that expires this Friday. So it's not going to grab a bunch of premium. But on that day, on Friday, if that trade is in our favor, if we're nicely into the green, if we're 50 to 75% into the profit of that trade, then I'm going to buy to close and then immediately sell those two again uh, for the following Friday expiration date, which will be March 10th, so that we can capture that time decay over the weekend, that theta, because that time decay works in our favor when we're on the selling side of these options. And that's where we like to be on the selling side. Because I look at it like this, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The seller of options is the casino. The buyer of options is the gambler. And sure, there are times when that gambler goes on a hot run and the casino is paying them. But for the most part, as we know, I've been to casinos. We have one over in Michigan City, which is about 25 minutes from my house, Michigan City, Indiana. It's called the Blue Chip. I've been in there, and I don't want to be one of those gamblers zombieing around, dragging their oxygen tank, smoking up their cigarettes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to be the casino owner. So that's how I look at the uh, selling and the buying of options. If you are an options buyer, I apologize. But remember, none of this is investment advice. I mean, I'm as silly as an albino hitchhiking in a snowstorm. So there's no way that you should be following any of this as actual investment advice. I am here for your entertainment purposes only. So that's what we have going on. Let's keep this number in mind when we go up and sell some calls right now. So we want to be above 92.47 on our calls, okay? In case we have those shares called away, we want to make a profit twofold. One, we want to profit uh, at a number above this 92.47 per share. And then we also, of course, want to put the dollar bills in our pocket from selling the put. So let's look at March 3rd. So that's four days away as far as expiration is concerned. And if we look at the 93, it's fairly conservative. It's at about a 15, 16 delta. Okay, 16.95. So a 16 delta, 30% implied 
volatility in a theta of 09 because that theta is high because we're only four days away from expiration. So every minute that ticks away is in our favor as long as the trade is continues to be in our favor. So 85% probability of profit, 16%, oh, 17 on the delta. So that would probably mean Google's going up as we speak. And it is, it's at 90.11. And time, time keeps on. On ticking, ticking. So we have two to sell right now. We'll go ahead and try to get what 24, 25 bucks a piece on those 200 shares representing two contracts. And can we put that money in our pocket right here and right now? Covered call. Covered means I have the shares already, already in my possession. A naked call would be you would make that options trade without owning those 200 shares. That would be naked. And believe me, Nobody wants to see me naked. So we go with the covered calls and we own those 200 shares. So we did sell those. We put $50 in our pocket and I'll be putting all of this into a spreadsheet because I'd like to do this for all of March to see how the wheel of fortune, Vanna, oh Vanna, turn around that, turn around that premium and put it in our pockets, would you Vanna? Vanna White is helping us out on the wheel of fortune. And then if we were to sell a put, okay, if we put some puts into action right now, now, now ideally you would sell puts on a red day. We got a green day, but it's still, it's not up that high, right? It's only up, it's up under 1%. So we should still be able to collect some premium on March 3rd expiration. So again, we got short term. So the premiums aren't going to be as high, but we're still looking at uh, I'm going to probably go a little bit lower on the delta. Let's go to the 90, okay? 90% probability of profit, 09. So we're under 10 on the delta. So that is a very conservative at $86. And the reason is, is I already have several hundred shares up for grabs on put options that I've sold. We don't want to get in too deep with this asset with Google. So we want to try to be conservative yet also still create a return on our investment, which in how in my eyes on Google, since they don't pay a dividend, and we love those divvies, don't we, Bart? We do. We love the dividends. Since they don't pay a dividend, we try to force the dividend with the premiums. So we can get about 16 bucks a contract right now, and it will expire on Friday. So let's do three of those. Let's go here first, then let's go... Um, Three, let's try for three of these. So it'd be three contracts, 300 shares up for grabs, uh, $48 cash secured put, meaning I've got the collateral. So they're going to set $25,800 aside. And don't do the math on those two numbers because they won't make sense. <laughs> You're telling me you just risked $25,800 to make 48? No, that's not what I'm telling you because this is the wheel, right? This is the wheel of fortune. And if I did get assigned those shares at 86 bucks a piece, we're saying we wouldn't mind owning them at that number because we like Google. We think it's a fine investment, okay? And in fact, my friends over at the Seeking Alpha, what do they have to say? What do, what do they have to say? Oh, here we are. I had it up over here. Wall Street and those authors over there, Wall Street says, hey, that's a strong buy, Bart. We'll take it. And my friends, the authors say it's a buy as well. Propeller heads say, just hold it. So we're not going to hold it because we're trying to get in on this at $86 bills, right? So $86. We collected our $48. So we're $98 in the green on premium today. And we have... 500 shares on the board, 200 shares on the call side, 300 shares on the put side, representing a total of five contracts. So we're going to be tracking all of that, see how we do all the way through the month of March. Like what Will we be profitable? If so, how profit, profitable? What type of return can we have on our invested and collateralized capital? Can we get up to one, one and a half, 2% return in one month. That's what I'm interested in seeing because if you were to annualize that, now we're talking 12, 24, you know, percent return on your money in an asset that pays no. Let's go back. 
Yeah, let's go here and go to summary. I want to show they pay no dividends. So on an asset that pays no dividend, can we force a return in cash flow, a return in cash flow? Because we know money rule number three, cash flow is king, cash is queen, and debt is what, Bart? <laughs> That's the joker. That was the worst one yet. <laughs> Uh, what was his name? Joaquin Phoenix, who pay, played that last uh, Joker a year or two ago. Remember his laugh? <laughs> Don't try it again. Last time you hurt your larynx. So let's hope for the best on our Google Play. But let's check in on the trade we made earlier on the SPY on the zero day to expiration. See what's going on with that. So we're up 12.5%. Wow, Bart, $5. Well, that's because it's a one day so this number could move right before our very eyes as we're on it. Uh, and then down here on the uh, on the credit spreads that expire on Friday, we're down $5. Now we're down $10 minus 7.14%. But that's because of the time decay, right? It's a It still has several days to make moves. So with that number, in the negative, that means SPY must be up right now. So let's take a quick look. So if we look, it is clicked up. So you see it's at 398.63. And if you look right through here, you see that blue dot is on the up trend. But if you look all the way from where it's stopped making its big moves, it's been fairly flat, but then flat to up. So that's something to keep an eye on because right now it's at 39 398.65 and our 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 uh, expiration today is at 401 so that's the number where we begin to lose money so if we get near that i'll be looking to trade out of this spread but i don't think it's going to happen we should be able to ride this right into the sunset um but if we get real close and we're up 75 percent, we'll probably just close it out collect our money and live to trade another day. So there we have it, little Google action. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure I say it once and I'll say it again. Make sure you are indeed a subscriber to the channel. Click on that like button because that helps the beep, boop, boop, the R2D2 algorithms. Leave a comment because that helps even more. And then I will see you in the next video.